Hey guys, in this short video, I want to talk to you about the dangers of consuming flax seeds and why the flax seed egg substitute is a bad idea and why you just might want to stick to consuming the good old-fashioned traditional egg. For at least the last 30 years or so, flax seeds have been considered a quintessential staple health food. You go into any health food store, walk down any health food aisle in the grocery store, and you will find flax seeds. However, as you dive into the true physiological effects of flax seeds, as we will in a moment, a health food is one of the last things that I would ever consider them to be. Now, I imagine that the reason flax seeds, like many other common health foods, have been mislabeled as a health food, confusingly so, is due to confusing, biased information in the scientific world. There are two basic things or scientific ideas that are not true, not factual in any way whatsoever, that support their position in the health food world. And that is, first and foremost, number one, the misunderstood roles of estrogen. If you sift through the conventional world of medicine and science, you'll probably find that a deficiency of estrogen is so commonly considered to be the root causes of things like cancers and degenerative diseases and aging issues, particularly in women. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. The fact of the matter is that estrogen in excess is usually one of the contributing factors to things like breast cancer, prostate cancer, even things like diabetes and other degenerative health issues, not a deficiency of it. In fact, it's very well known that estrogen tends to rise as we age, not diminish, whereas our androgen hormones tend to be the ones that decline with age. So this is a completely inaccurate claim, but it also ties in and goes hand in hand with another misunderstanding in the world of science, which is that having a low metabolic rate, a slow metabolism, is going to promote longevity. So this is the basis, I think, of a lot of scientific confusion and a lot of the debates that occur in the world of nutrition, health and wellness, and science in general, is the debate ultimately between having a robust or fast metabolism for good health and longevity or a slow metabolism. And estrogen ties in with the ideology that having a low metabolic rate is what's health promoting and what's good for you because estrogen generally suppresses the metabolism. So at least from my research and understanding, the reason that things like flax seeds and other nuts and seeds, other quintessential health foods like soy, corn, legumes, grains, nuts and seeds, you know, these were all things that at least once upon a time were considered to be staple health foods, are promoted as good for you when they are not because they're part of this ideology that having a low metabolic rate is the ideal route for achieving longevity and good health. So I won't go too much deeper into that, but I figured this is worth mentioning because even if you hop online, you're gonna find tons of biased studies saying that flax seeds are beneficial for things like breast cancer and all this other stuff. And it's just simply not true because on the other hand, you'll find that as I'm gonna show you in a moment, that there are very specific studies that point out that flax seeds are estrogenic. They significantly increase the production of estrogen, the activity of the estrogen receptors, etc. And in few words, they are incredibly estrogenic or act as a phytoestrogen. And that brings us to the bulk of this video, which is that flax seeds are phytoestrogen foods. And as I talk about in a lot of these videos, Estrogen is present in the pathology of just about every degenerative disease you could think of, everything from prostate cancer to breast cancer to hair loss to hypothyroidism to diabetes and other degenerative diseases. Now for the sake of brevity, I won't go too deep into the physiological mechanisms of estrogen and how it contributes to disease, but just know on the short term that through a variety of mechanisms, estrogen suppresses your metabolic rate, which decreases your body's ability to produce energy, to fuel cellular functions. So everything from your immune system to detoxification systems to the energy production system, metabolism to digestion, all become impaired via the excess production of estrogen. Again, through a number of different mechanisms. But getting back to flax seeds and estrogen, first and foremost, Flax seeds contain a compound known as lignans, which are actually directly phytoestrogenic, meaning that these lignans stimulate the production of estrogen. The other way in which flax seeds contribute to the excess production of estrogen is that their fat composition, being mostly polyunsaturated, actually inhibits the production of enzymes that assist your body in detoxifying excess estrogen. So not only are these lignans going to be increasing the production of estrogen directly, 
through their lignin or phytoestrogenic effects, but the polyunsaturated fats in flax seeds and flaxseed oil in particular are going to impair your body's ability to get rid of excess estrogen, causing it to build up. And there's a third way in which flax seeds and similar seeds with the polyunsaturated fats and the lignans contribute to excess estrogen in the body, and that's through its stimulation of the sex hormone binding globulin, which basically binds with the androgens like testosterone, making them unavailable for use by your body. And estrogen has a balance or a relationship with your androgens like progesterone and testosterone. So when the sex hormone binding globulin increases, this causes the free circulating levels of testosterone and androgens in the body to decrease, causing an excess of estrogen, also known as estrogen dominance. So through three different ways at least, and there's probably others, flax seeds are going to increase the production of estrogen in your body, throwing off the hormonal balance in your body. And again, estrogen contributes to a wide variety of pathological disorders by basically impairing your body's ability to produce energy, causing a stress response, damaging the cells directly amongst many other things. So high levels of estrogen is something that you do not want, and flax seeds through these ways are probably one of the most estrogenic foods that you could ever consume. So if you're somebody who's consuming flax seeds regularly, sprinkling them all over various foods and meals, I would stop immediately. Also, if you happen to be the person that's using flax eggs as a substitute for eggs, that's a really bad idea. Because guess what? Those egg yolks happen to be highly anti-estrogenic. In addition to the essential fat-soluble vitamins and cholesterol and other building blocks that egg yolks contain for the production of thyroid having an anti-estrogen effect, egg yolks also contain an abundance of biotin. And if we look at this study, biotin actually has a pretty powerful anti-estrogenic effect. Just an acute dose of biotin is capable of causing a so-called estrogen deficiency. Now, I don't really think there is such thing as an estrogen deficiency, especially in the modern world where we're surrounded by estrogen all day long in our air, water, on our clothes, the things that we eat our food out of and our food in general, and the fact that estrogen tends to rise under acute stress. So I don't really think an estrogen deficiency is something to ever worry about, but this does give us evidence that biotin has a powerful anti-estrogenic effect. So looking at this egg yolk, the fat-soluble vitamins, particularly vitamin A, some of the vitamin E, the cholesterol, all building blocks for thyroid hormone, and that biotin make an egg yolk, the egg, one of the most anti-estrogen foods that you could ever have, making it a very profound health food in this way. Because again, if you dove into the pathology of just about every issue you could think of, everything from cancer to hair loss to hypothyroidism to other issues like polycystic ovarian syndrome to diabetes, I promise you, you will find elevated levels of estrogen or some issue with excess estrogen and other stress substances. And an egg yolk is one of the simplest foods that you could use to combat high estrogen levels. So bringing us back to the very beginning of this video, if you're somebody who is substituting this egg for a flax egg, thinking you're doing your body good, well, I have bad news for you. You're replacing one of the most anti-estrogenic pro-thyroid metabolic boosting foods with one of the most anti-metabolic thyroid suppressing foods that you could ever consume. But again, this confusion comes back to the fact that there's a whole physiological scientific ideology that having a low thyroid, a low metabolism is good for you. But for very simple reasons, I don't necessarily think that that's the case. Who wouldn't want to be able to produce enough energy or more energy? Why would you want to intentionally slow your body's energy producing systems? doesn't make much sense to me just in a common sense sort of way. So that's all I wanted to share in this video. I just figured this tad bit of information could be powerfully helpful for a lot of people. So many people suffer from estrogen dominance or symptoms of estrogen dominance, things like, again, hypothyroidism, hair loss, polycystic ovarian syndrome, diabetes, and even cancer. All conditions which are either caused by excessive estrogen or highly estrogen driven. And something as simple as getting back to the basics or more specifically, getting back to a more traditional, natural way of eating, at least in my opinion, it's so much more unnatural, I think, to find flax seeds in nature, grind them up and sprinkle them over a superfood oatmeal bowl or something along those lines. That, in my opinion, is not necessarily very natural. If you were to be out in the wild, I'd imagine you wouldn't come across any flax seeds, but you might come across eggs a bit more easily. So in my viewpoint at least, 
eggs and consuming eggs are not unnatural, at least especially compared to consuming something like ground flaxseed every day in some exotic superfood smoothie bowl. I'm not bashing those, those can be great and everything, but simplifying your diet, an egg is a very powerful anti-estrogenic food and one of the worst things you could do if you're dealing with excessive estrogen in your body is substitute that precious egg for something like flax seeds which are powerfully estrogenic. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you're somebody who's dealing with symptoms of estrogen dominance and excessive estrogen, in addition to removing the flax seed and getting back to the basic egg, I would highly recommend you watch some of these videos here for some additional dietary lifestyle and herbal tips for lowering excess estrogen and getting down to the root. We also have tons of blogs on the topic of estrogen and how to manage that. So if you're interested in learning more beyond our YouTube channel, be sure to check out our blog and our online tonic herb shop to supplement with some powerful anti-estrogenic herbs. All of this you can find in the description box below.